Hi, welcome to Vera Yoga with Andrea. I'm glad you've tuned in to join me today. I have some special guests on this show with me. I have my daughter Adele Fournay who's visiting for us for a short while. She's been living in Lima, Peru and she's heading back soon. So we're glad you're here. Thanks. And my husband, our, her papa, David Fournay. You've seen him on the show before. Some of you have emailed me even and said the, the bearded joker. <laughs> One person in 10 years? <laughs> People love having you on the show. Oh, yeah. Except you have for, a compliment. Except for that one person. You know who you are. <laughs> Hope you're not watching. <laughs> so we're going to have fun today. We're, we would like you to join us. We're going to do a, a whole show on very yoga warm-ups. And the first one is a seated position. So join us on the floor. If you need to use it, sit on a pillow or a blanket to modify your position, do that. So you, some of you know what to do. Del just grabbed a blanket. You can sit on the, on the edge of it if you wish. Sit with your legs crossed. And then sit with your hands resting on your thighs. The first thing we're going to do is just do a little bit of neck roll. So you just start to roll your head around, just letting it see where, where there might be some tightness in your neck. A few little rolls here. And then and a lot of this, since we're sitting like this, you can actually just do some of these moves while sitting in a chair. So if you have opened up the, watching the show and you're sitting on your couch and you haven't moved to the floor yet, then just sit on your couch and do this with us. Yeah, circling around, you've changed directions. Noisy. Your neck is popping? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it is, if it's uh, maybe just nitrogen gas releasing or maybe it's your uh, cartilage. Unfortunately. Okay, then keep your face straight, facing straight ahead, right towards the screen. And once you then slowly turn your head to your right. You just gonna look over your right shoulder, we'll mirror you here. Yeah. And then turn back to center. And try not to move your body, just move your neck and Back like a, like a Disney World attraction. Yeah, something. then we do it again. Go to your right. <laughs> Disney World attraction. You know, those, those animatronic yeah. things. <laughs> where they sort of move their heads. And then back to center. Like, it's a small world. <laughs> move their heads. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that little... Is that a Disney World? I think World? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, yes. You're right. Okay, so now tilt your head. Just tilt your head. Instead of turning it, tilt it to the right. And then back up and go the other side. Yeah. Yeah, and they have their eyes kind of blink. You know? <laughs> Only if they pay their robots by the hour. And then tilt to your other side again. Good. And back up. And go one more time. Good. All right. So this flow we're going to do is called uh, uh, Sukhasana, because sitting cross-legged like this is, the Sanskrit is easy cross-legged. So stay here. Not so and, easy, though. If you got old knees. Okay, so I'll tell you what, do it modify, do it with your legs straight out in front of you. If you're sitting cross legged, it is difficult for you. Just take your legs straight out. Just we'll after a while, you gotta move them around. Okay, well then you can do that. Good. So then put your hands on the floor beside, outside from your thighs. Turn your palms open and inhale, lift your arms up. Yeah. And then turn your palms away from each other and just exhale, bring your arms back down. Yeah. Do that two more times. Turn the palms open and inhale, bring your arms up. Turn the palms away from each other and exhale, slowly bring them down. Feel your fingertips touch the floor. One more time. Inhale up, parallel to your arms are parallel beside your head and then release down. Good, now we do a twist. So once you take that, your left hand, put it at the outside of your right knee, take the right hand behind you, exhaling, twist and look over your right shoulder. And then we're gonna turn back to center by lifting our arms up beside our ears again and turn back to center. That's an inhale. Let's go to the left. To your left, exhaling, twisting. So we're getting a spinal twist. Fairy Yoga is, teaches a lot about this health of your spine and the six directions twist again, it can move. So it can twist side to side, to the right and the left. It can go t also a side without a twist. So we're gonna do that next. And come back to center. So we can do a side twist. What you can do here is place your right hand on the floor and then lean over to your side. So that's a side stretch. And then come back up and go the other way. Plant your hand and then leap, lift over to the side. Reach out, but anchor into your opposite leg. Good. Let's go again. Keep your cheekbone on the your sit Keep bone your sit on bone the on the floor. Yes, good question. I notice mine lifting up. off. And then over the other way. You notice you're coming up. Now anchor into your sit bone. Very good. Now keep your arms up overhead. 
interlace your fingers, turn the palms of your hands towards the ceiling. See if you can draw your elbows towards your ears. Yeah. And then release your arms, bring your hands right to your kneecaps. Okay, so we're gonna, can you do this with your legs straight? We're gonna inhale, tip in our hips, and draw your chest, your heart, your face, chin forward, lift up through the face, and then exhale round your back, holding on to your legs. You tip back, just tip back as far as you can, yeah. And then inhale, tip forward. Shoulder blades move towards the spine, the chin lifts, and then exhale round. A couple more times. Shoulders forward there. Yes. So when you're moving your shoulders back when you bring your heart and chest forward, and then you let your shoulders round away from the spine, creating a nice art, uh, curve. Yeah, good. A couple more times. And then come to a neutral spine and let your feet come out in front of you on your and we're on mats, and if you're sitting on the carpeted floor, that's fine. Just take your feet about, oh, I would say about two feet apart or so, and you can lean back into your hands. You can place your hands so the fingers are facing out to the side, or they're maybe facing back. Find what works for your shoulders. Yeah, so. And then I want you to slowly roll your right knee towards your left foot. Get a good stretch in your, across your thigh here. And then bring your knee up and lower the other knee, opposite. Good. Back up again. So that's, in yoga terminology, it's called the inner rotation. So you're taking the thigh bone and inner rotating it in your hip socket, bringing the knee towards the floor, and then bring it back up, and then the other way. It's also, you hear it sometimes, terminology is inner spiral. It's another way of saying it. Bring your knee up. Now, let's t instead of taking the knee in, take it out. This is an outer rotation. Roll to the outside of your foot and then back up again. Do the other leg. Open it up. Mm -hmm. And back up. So this is an outer spiral, also known as rotation or spiral. Take your opposite. Very good. And then one more. Yeah. And back up. Excellent. Now sit up and so you can. Put your weight into your hips and reach underneath your left leg and grab your right ankle. Bring it up underneath your hip. We're gonna do a little twist here. So what I want you to do is keep your your heel right in against your shin of your yeah, and then twist to the side. So wrap your elbow around your knee and turn away from the television, away from the screen. Sit up nice and straight. Use your backhand to press into the floor and get a lift in your spine as you release the shoulders away from your ears. And breathe. Hold this for a few breaths. This is a spinal twist. It's really, twists are excellent for digestion, help with our metabolism. It gets a nice uh, contraction in the abdomen. And then release, come to center. This is how you get to the other side. You un undo that right foot, reach underneath, and pull your left heel over to the right, bending your right knee. And the heel comes right up to your shin. And then you just hug your knee with your inner elbow. Good, and twist. Place your right hand behind you and sit up nice and straight. Lift up from the back body. And turn over to, turn your face to the right. You can turn the face forward. David likes to do that. It's a nice release for the neck. On the out breath. Or you can keep looking to your over your back shoulder. So there's always many variations in the very yoga. Good. And then come back to center. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to invite you to come to your hands and knees. Now I have an extra thick mat. So if you don't have a very thick mat or you're not on carpet, maybe a blanket would be helpful for your knees. So if Adele has one and David has one. Just come to all fours with a blanket underneath your knees and your hands right under your shoulders. We'll start right there. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is a Svanasana sequence because in Sanskrit, Svana means dog. So we're just in a dog pose. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what you know, I want you to do is some, uh, again, some spinal releases. So I want you to take a breath in and when you exhale, round your back. And then when you come to your inhale, let your bellies release towards the floor and sway your back, lifting your chin. And then exhale. Do this several times. It's a nice way to warm up the 
spinal muscles. You know, we have a lot of mobility in our neck and in our lumbar spine. And we have a, our solidness in our thoracic, which is our basically the large part of our, longest part of our back, ties in with the ribs. It doesn't move as fluidly, and these sequences help you move that part of your back. Good. And then come to a neutral spine. And then what you do here is place, keep your left hand on the floor. Sweep that right arm around. Just place it on the small of your back. And do a little twist here. Open your knees a little wider for stability. And then inhale, starting with your elbow. Take the elbow towards the ceiling and then your shoulder and turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep your hand on your back. <laughs> and then bring it back down. Turn your torso. Inhale, open up. Exhale, turn back to the mat. Inhale, open up. Yeah. Don't breathe a new microphone when you go down. <laughs> <laughs> and open up again. And then bring your hand down to the mat. We'll change sides. So sweep the opposite hand around to the small of your back, palm facing up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, open up to your side. And then, so this is giving a, a gentle twist to the thoracic or the center spine, the thoracic spine where your ribs tie into your back. Getting some movement there. Good. And open up and a little twist for the lumbar. Yeah. Let's do that two more times. Following, using the, the breath to help you move into your pose. And once more. Yeah. And then bring your hand down. Separate your hands so they're about shoulder width. And then bring your knees back right underneath your hips. I'm going to stretch the right, your right leg. Take it straight back. Keep your toes on the floor at first. And I just want you to push through the heel on your right foot. Stretch out your calf. Yeah. And we're pushing back. So our shoulders are away from our hands a little bit. Now I'm going to show you this. What you do is bring your weight forward. Bring your shoulders over your hands. And just lift your right leg off the floor. Yeah. Good. Hold it there. I want you to use the back leg muscles and your back muscles to keep your leg lifted. Your arms are straight. Good. And then bring your knee down. We'll change sides. Take the other leg back, toes on the floor, push through the heel, stretch your calf muscle. Move your weight back into your left leg and you're straightening that leg straight back as your shoulders are a little back behind your hands. And then move your weight forward, bring your shoulders over your hands, put the weight into your bent knee, your right knee, and lift your left leg off the floor. Breathe. It, it looks simple, but it's, you're really, it's a balance pose. You're working your back muscles. But yeah, we're going to get to that next. Yeah. Oh. And then bring your knee down. So we're going to do what David just was showing us. Take your right leg back again, it's this, back to the first side. And then bring your weight over your hand. Lift your right leg and then extend the left arm straight out towards the television or the screen. Reach out, but look down at the mat or at the floor. The modified hood ornament pose. Ah. <laughs> the hood ornament, huh? Yeah, we can make yoga poses as hood ornaments. Oh, that be cool. Bring your hand down, bring your knee down. Like Take your left leg back. Yeah, like tree pose, make a cool hood ornament. Extend your right arm, lift your left leg. Another thing to be aware of is the supporting arm is to give the elbow a little bend so you don't hyperextend it or lock it. And breathe. Hold this for a few more breaths. This is like reaching for the... And look down at the floor so your neck is long. Oh. Yeah. And then bring your hand down, bring your knee down. Yeah. So I want you to take your, push your weight back into your knees and come up to kneeling. Good. Because we're going to release tension out of our wrists. So shake your hands out. Because when you put a lot of pressure this way, sometimes our wrists get sore. Shake your hands just like this. And then use your uh, left hand, grab your right, just gently pull on the wrist slightly. It's just a gentle pull. And then push down. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Yeah. Good. Change sides. Just left hand. Push down. Pull my finger. Hmm? Pull your finger? No mumbling if you're going to talk. <laughs> you heard me. Okay, put your hands together. Fred, spread your fingers. Put your hands together like this. 
just keep the shoulders away from your ears. I just want you to push your fingers together, hands together, your palms together. Good. What we're going to do here is we're going to slowly move the hands down. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep them together. And then slowly take them up. And down. Good. And then Brendan, bring them down. I feel like Gandhi. And then release your hands, shake them out. And just step your right foot forward. Keep your knees on your left knee on the mat. Walk your foot out far enough that you, when as you slowly bring your weight forward and lunge forward, your knee stays right over your ankle. Yeah. And then as your hips are going down and forward, your shoulders are going back and down, and your heart lifts, chest lifts. The heart's in Mm -hmm. Glad you had padding. Yeah. Breathe. Good. Oh, stretching out your hip flexors. Or the balance. These are, yeah, it can be challenging, yeah. And then bring your hips back. So you can release the weight out of your front foot, bring the knee to the floor, and change sides. Mm -hmm. Foot is out far enough so your shin stays perpendicular to the floor. The knee doesn't go past the foot. Let your hips release towards the floor. Good. Wow. Wait, quite, quite a stretch. In this in front, yeah, good. Hip flexor area. Yeah. Good. All right, and then come back. We're going to go into a, back into can all fours. No? Mm -hmm. Can we do that again? We will. We'll get back to it. Oh, okay. We're going to come back to all fours. Yeah. And then take your knees a little wider. We're going to do a really nice cross lateral shoulder stretch. Okay, so when you just turn, look, turn your right hand in, and then just take that left hand, palm up, and thread it underneath your shoulder. We're just see if you can bring your shoulder down, your head down. Oh yeah. We're going to just rest here for a moment. I don't know if it's resting for most of you, but it's just stretch here for a moment. Your hips are up. Your feet are pressing firmly into the floor. Now modification, another variation you can do is take that one arm up in the air and keep it stretching towards the ceiling or wrap it around your back. Yes. Breathe. Can you try to lower your butt or not? You keep it up in the air. Okay. And then bring your hand, your hand that's wrapped around your back, bring your back to the floor, push yourself up. We're going to go the other way. Turn your hand slightly in. That helps you bend your elbow. Thread the other arm underneath. Palm facing up. Mm -hmm. mm. Keep the left hand on the floor. Wrap it around your back. <clears throat> Keep breathing. It's a good stretch for some muscles that are behind our shoulder blades called the rhomboids. Hard muscles to get to, to stretch, to let tension out of. This is a good one. I learned this one very early in my yoga practice that helped release tension out of my neck and shoulders. Kitty get the cookie. Uh-huh, that's the English term. The fun one. Okay, take your hand back in the air and bring it down. You know, I started practicing yoga because I had so much pain in my neck and shoulders. I'd wake up every morning just tight and, I mean, to the point where I'm, this arm got numb. So yoga became a continual practice for me. And I hope you guys find that for yourself, that even 20 minutes, 26 minutes, these shows are short. You take time for yourself. You tune in every early morning. I know some of you have said that this is what you do every morning with me. I just think that's awesome. And now we have some new shows. So let's, you want to do that stretch again? So oh, come well, back up to if kneeling. You think it's okay. I really was. Take stretching. your right foot forward. It was really. A low lunge again. David says he likes this one. This is really good for your hips. Yeah. Bicycle list and runners, I think. Really. Yes. In fact, the next two shows are going to be for or printers or ditch diggers like yesterday. Or you come up into a high lunge. Okay, so let's, so Adele just made a note so you could come into a high lunge. So why don't you uh, show them that? So she's going to lift her knee off oh. the floor. Oh. Let's see. We put your oh. knee back down. Hold on. We'll get get it on camera. So let's see see Adele's knee off the floor. Can you show that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? So go. Do? Take your knee off the floor. There you go. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a high lunge. I'll Tricky. stay low. Trickier to balance, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, my. Ooh, that boy, <laughs> you got to really have strong legs. 
All right, so now release, you bring your knee back down. Feel the burn. And <laughs> <laughs> change legs. Okay, I'll stay in the lower position. You two can take your knees off the floor. So you can decide, you can do what I'm doing, or you can do what I'm doing with my knee down, my back knee down, or check it out, see if, as Adele takes her knee up to high lunge. You wanna try taking your knee up? Oh, yeah. David's got his knee off the floor. I got my knee down, so you decide oh, yeah. what you want. Well, my right leg's stronger than my left one. You'll find that, you know, balance. Yoga is about that. You find, sometimes find that one side is uh, stronger than the other. Yeah. Okay, and lower your knee, back knee down. Come back to all fours. Oh. Wow, good. That's cool. Now let's bring our hands back to the mat. Bring your hands back to the floor of the mat. Yes, and we're gonna turn our toes and our hands slightly ahead of your shoulders. We're gonna do a famous yoga pose called Downward Facing Dog. We lift our knees away from the mat. You lift your knees away from your mat on the floor. Press your hips to the ceiling as you drop your heels towards the floor. Arms are straight. Look back at your toes. Let your head hang. Release tension from your neck. What's the Sanskrit for this? Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward Facing Dog. Good. And so we're going to do a little flow here. Join us on this. Inhale, come forward to a plank, and right up into up dog. Urdhva Mukha. Shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, back into down dog. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, just get some heat going here, some strength for our arms. Yeah. See, so you kind of like keep and your uh, creases to the front. Keep your creases of your elbows. Yes, together. creases of your elbows stay pointing. pointing towards each other. That's better on your shoulders, right? Yeah. And exhale, that sure is. Inhale. Some of you old geezers like me will let your knees hit instead of. What Go for doing. it. Knees down is great. That's another variation. Very yoga. One more time, come forward. Come into up dog. And then let's all bring your knees down. Everybody bring your knees down and push back into pose of a child, opening your knees apart, settling into your heels, releasing back, sit, keep the arms reaching out in front for a moment here. I, I gotta do it this way for my knees. And then come back up to all fours. And then I want you to sit with your legs out in front of you, straight out, and Don Doss in a staff pose. Yeah, this is a pose. Looks easy. Looks like we're just sitting here. I want you to practice with me. Take your feet about fist width apart and place your hands beside your thighs. Either fingers turning out straight ahead and push down into the floor with your hands so your legs get a little light, but you're still sitting on your sit bones, shoulders away from your ears. Imagine your tailbone connecting with the earth or the floor tailbone right at the base of your spine and then all the way up the spine to the crown of your head just extending your shoulders are releasing down and then see if you can let your hands come off the floor and just rest on your thighs and hold this pose dandasana it's a nice way to practice strengthening your back muscles your paraspinal muscles yeah good and breathe and then relax oh. then I want you to bend your knees and we're going to do a little forward bend here. So bend your knees and flex your feet. Reach your arms up and grab your toes. See if you get your knees so far bent that you can actually get your toes. Good. And we're going to feel like we're pressing on the, when you pre like pressing on the gas pedal of your car. You have two gas pedals, a clutch and a gas pedal. Push both feet forward, pulling your torso forward. And then on an inhale, pull your feet back and lift your chest, lift your heart. Exhale, push forward. Inhale. Stretch back, lift up, lift those feet up, flex your feet, yeah. Push forward as you exit. And lift back up. Good. One more time. We're coming close to the close of the show. It goes so fast, and I'm so grateful that you have joined us, either viewing us on Jones Television, Channel 22, or via the internet. However you're getting this show, we're grateful that you tune in grateful to have the Jones television you know um, advertisement free you can watch us in the early early mornings mid morning evenings to so take care of yourself by practicing some yoga very yoga with Andrea let's do some final 
moves here. I want you to bend your right knee, place it to the inside, right foot to the inside of your thigh, and you're going to twist. Keep this straight and toes facing up. Just twist gently away from the screen, looking over your shoulder, and then lift that left arm up in the air. Mm -hmm. And then slowly bring it to your shin of your left leg and start to slide down your left leg. A little side stretch here. Good. And then slowly bring yourself back up. Turn to center. Let's change legs. Twist to your side, turning over that bent knee. Take your arm up and slide your hand down your shin. Reach for your toes. Keep looking over your shoulder. A little side stretch. And then come back up. And believe it or not, it's time to close. So if you want to, just lie down on the floor. Nick, uh, Adele and David, you can do that. Let yourself relax down into the floor. Let your arms release, legs release. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Just let the music carry you away. Thank you for joining us today. From my heart to yours, namaste.